coffee service. Towards the end of the dining experience, your guests may enjoy a cup of coffee to round off their meal. Let's take a look at how to offer 5 star coffee service. We'll be looking at the timing of coffee service, coffee recipes, taking a coffee order and serving coffee. Let's start with the timing. Guests will often enjoy an aromatic, flavorful cup of coffee after a meal or with breakfast. When you take the guests' dessert orders, after they have finished their main course, offer them coffee. If the guests would like dessert, remember to ask whether they would like their coffee with dessert or after dessert, since guests' preferences vary. Next, let's look at some coffee recipes. Coffee can be served in a number of ways. With lots of milk, with cream, with a little milk, or even with no milk. What is known as the espresso is at the heart of all coffee recipes. It is a shot of very strong coffee that can be enjoyed as is, in a small espresso cup. Espressos can also be combined with milk in a number of ways to deliver different flavour profiles. Adding more milk makes the coffee less strong, while adding a little bit of milk or foam offers a different taste. The tradition of coffee involves a number of set recipes and guests may ask for one of the following. An espresso. This is just the shot of espresso served as is. An americano. This is an espresso topped up with water. A cappuccino. This is made up of an espresso with hot steamed milk and foam. A flat white. A flat white is similar to a cappuccino but is an espresso with steamed milk or foam. A latte. A latte is an espresso with lots of steamed milk and some foam and a macchiato. This is simply an espresso topped with foam. If your establishment has decaffeinated coffee, inform guests of the option, as some guests prefer coffee without caffeine. Let's take a look at taking a coffee order. Recommend the coffee. For example, Mr. Wilkins, may I recommend some cappuccinos for the table? If the guests would like to order coffee, take the guests' orders, starting with the ladies' orders first. Ask the guest whether they would like a single or a double shot of espresso in their preferred coffee recipe or style. Ask about their milk preference, if necessary. If a guest orders filter coffee or an Americano, Ask them if they would like their milk hot or cold. Some guests may also have specific preferences, such as low fat or soy milk. Finally, let's take a look at coffee service. When it comes to coffee service, you must always be quick and efficient so that the coffees are served hot and at their best. Set up the tray back of house, including the coffees, milk jug and sugar. Ensure that the spoons and the handles of the cups are facing in the same direction, right for right-handed guests and left for left-handed guests. When serving espressos, you may also serve these on display trays with some cold water for each guest. If possible, ask a colleague to carry the tray while you place the coffees on the table. Place each guest's coffee, starting with the ladies first. Remember to tailor your service for left-handed guests. Invite the guest to enjoy their delicious coffee. To summarize in this lesson, we looked at these points. The timing of coffee service, coffee recipes, taking a coffee order, and serving coffee. 
good luck with coffee service at your establishment. Tea service. Tea service can be a lovely ceremony filled with elegance. So you should treat this ceremony with the appropriate attention to detail. In this lesson, we'll be looking at types of tea, types of teapots, and tea service. Let's start with types of tea. Guests might enjoy tea at breakfast, during mid-afternoon, or after dinner. There are hundreds of varieties of tea, but the main categories of tea are black teas, oolong teas, green teas, and white teas. Different types of tea have different flavors and level of caffeine. Ensure that you learn about the teas you serve at your establishment so that you can recommend them to your guest with confidence. Teas can be in a loose leaf form or in a bag. If the tea leaves are loose, it will be served with a strainer to prevent the leaves from landing in the guest's cup. Teas will also be steeped for different lengths of time, depending on the type and the guest's preference, so make sure you know each tea's steeping time. Next, let's look at types of teapots. Teapots come in all shapes and sizes and can be made from a number of materials. With the standard hollowware teapot, the loose leaves or tea bags are placed in the pot and water is added. But there are also glass teapots with an infuser built in. The leaves are put into the infuser which is inserted in the teapot. Remember that the tea starts steeping the moment you insert it, so make sure you do so at the right time and inform the guest how to remove it when they are happy with the extraction. Now, let's move on to tea service. When serving tea, set up the tray with the teapot in the middle. You'll remember this from tray service, that the largest item goes in the middle, where it is most stable. Next, place the milk, sugar, sauces, cups and teaspoons, with the handles pointing in the same direction as the cup's handle. Notice how all the handles on the tray are facing the same way. When delivering the tea, place the biggest, hottest item first, that is, the teapot. From there, anything else with liquid, that will be the milk. Notice how the teapot and milk jug handles are facing the lady's right. Then, place the sugar within easy reach, and the cups with handles facing the guest's right hand. Present the tea and inform the guest how long the tea has been steeping for. For example, Miss Simpson, your Earl Grey tea. It has been steeping for four minutes. Would you like me to pour? This way, the guest will know more or less how strong it is. Offer to pour the tea for the guest. If they agree, first pour a little bit so that they can see the strength. Ask whether it is to their liking and if the guest is happy, you can fill the cup to three quarters full. This is to leave room to add milk. Also keep your service cloth at hand in case the pot drips. If the tea is served with treats, such as sandwiches or cakes, be sure to tell the guests what they are, in case they have any allergens or dietary requirements. So to recap, you should know more about types of tea, types of teapots, and tea service.